Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. I'm actually out here in Northern Ireland uh, on a Friday afternoon meeting up with all the farming union presidents. So as you can imagine, a lot to discuss. Um, big announcement today. Finally, I've been warning about you about it for a long time, CPTPP, the Trans-Pacific deal. Um, all I can say is that this is a much better deal than the previous ones have been. So we have always reiterated the need for sensitive sectors and those have been adhered to in this deal. So on beef, previously with Liz Trust, the opening gambit was going to be for 100,000 tonnes on beef and that was to open negotiations. We've now got a quota on beef of 13,000 tonnes 10,000 tonnes on, on poultry. So sensitive sectors being respected, that's really good news and a very different approach from Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister. Of course, a lot of damage done with the liberalisation of Australia and New Zealand, but at least this does pave the way forwards for, uh, I think, a better working relationship, better understanding of government of the challenges that we face with trade and also the real need to invest in the opportunities of getting more British food on plates across the world. The other big bit of news this week has been the food fraud situation, absolutely horrendous situation that was uncovered by Abby Kay from Farmers Weekly. Of course, this was part of an ongoing investigation by the Food Crime Unit, who of course were put in place on the back of Horsegate by the Food Standards Agency. I'll be speaking later on to Susan Jebb from the Food Standards Agency. It makes it very, very clear to us, and it was the point I made on the Today programme this morning, that we are going to need to see a far greater level of resource going into the FSA. And I have to say the huge importance that the FSA remains independent. Its independence is absolutely key, but it is going to need to be better resourced in order to deal with these really challenging situations. Just shows food fraud is out there and that the Union Jack does not do enough forwards, which I have to say is why I've always reiterated the importance of the Red Tractor, the independently audited supply chain, as proof that it is British. Um, so uh, a, a lot going on on that and a lot of news interest. So I did the Today programme this morning. And for those of you that are looking for something to do on Sunday morning, it looks like I will be on the Laura Koonsberg show as part of the panel talking all things CPTPP, food fraud and no doubt many other things as well. Can I just finish with two points? If you want to go to Serials in June as part of your membership, please go to NFU Online to get your free tickets. It's a really good deal. Please do go to NFU Online and get those tickets. And also, finally from me, huge thanks to many of you that are sponsored Team NFU for the London Marathon. Um, the miles for me are, are clocking up slightly painfully, I have to say, but very many thanks for sponsoring me. As ever, wherever you are, please take care and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Many thanks.